Welcome back artists and welcome back to my studio. It's Olympic season and we have just seen the closing of the 2020 Summer Olympic Games and are now awaiting the beginning of the Paralympics held in Tokyo, Japan. With the delayed start of the Games due to COVID-19 and Sydney in lockdown, the Olympics have become a wholesome focal point of our homes and our virtual classroom. The metal tally count and the background noise of daily sporting events have become a welcome distraction, even if you aren't that into sport. Something about the Olympic fever just taps into a collective sporting spirit. At the 1912 Summer Olympic Games in Stockholm, Sweden, American Walter Winans proudly took the podium to collect his third ever Olympic medal after previously winning gold for sharpshooting at the 1908 London Games and silver again for the same event in 1912. He also won gold again in Stockholm, but this time not for shooting, athletics or anything sporty at all, but for his creation of a small sculpture of a little bronze horse pulling a tiny chariot titled An American Trotter. Say what? Did you know that painters and sculptors used to compete alongside sporting athletes? Between 1912 and 1948, the Olympic Games also awarded official medals for the arts, with awards given to artists for sculpture, painting, drawing, etching, graphic works, and even for architecture, music, and literature. Can you imagine artists battling it out for the bronze, silver and gold for their countries? The only rules were that the works had never been exhibited before and must be based around a sporting theme. Winners include a gold medal to America for Mahoney's Young's sculpture, The Knockdown, in 1932. Gold for Italy for Carlo Pellegrini's winter sports graphics and gold for Luxembourg for Jean's Jacobi's rugby inspired painting in 1928. So for this week's art project hour, you're going to be going for gold and you're going to be creating your own piece of art worthy of an Olympic medal. It can be either a sculpture, a painting, a drawing, or to bring it into the modern day world, it can be a digital work as well. The only rules are like that of the Olympics. It must never have been exhibited before and it must be based around the theme of sports. Thank you so much for joining me this week. I can't wait to see what you create. Bye.